Bill Culliford here with the World Organization of Webmasters WOW and the WOW Technology Minute at Adobe Max Milan at the Web Pro Community Challenge Tabletop. I have the pleasure to be interviewing Mark Neiman Ross, developer evangelist from Adobe. That is me. Yes. Thank you for agreeing to this interview, Mark. I appreciate you taking the time. You, you've uh, presented a couple of times, uh, multiple times, both here in San Francisco and now today in Milan. And I'm curious to know, the session ha had an element of flex and air, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Could you, for the subscribers of this podcast, uh, give us a under, better understanding of, of Flex and Air, and then we'll talk maybe specifically about the uh, elements of Flex and Air, summarize the session, and a couple of walkaways uh, in terms of developers and wood designers, web professionals. What, what would you want us to know about your session on Flex and Air? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, just to, to, to back way up, the concepts behind Flex and Air are giving you the ability to use all of your um, Flash and MXML skills and transfer that into um, more of a, a, a front-end type of product, more of a, a programmatic sort of thing. Up until now, a lot of action script has been done in Flash, which is very timeline-based. Flex is based around developing an application that allows you to talk to, an app, to a, a, a database something like that. Air is very much like Flex, except that instead of running inside of a browser, Air runs on your desktop. So you don't need a browser. You can take it. You can run it somewhere, not even being connected to the internet, still be useful work. Um, it's it's something that you'd want to take a look at, especially if you're doing web work. It's not an answer to every solution, but it's really exciting. And and, and for us in the creative suite, it becomes particularly exciting as we start to look at Flex as a programming model. Uh, up until this point, if you wanted to automate or integrate the creative suite, what you had to do was go with either some of the C++ interfaces or um, with some of the scripting interfaces. The Apple script, the Visual Basic scripts, the Extend scripts, things like that. Unfortunately, what this means is, is that everybody out there who's been using Flex and Air had to learn an entirely new set of languages in order to satisfy automation type things. This wasn't a problem because it used to be the Creative Suite community over here and the web community over here. Well, now you can use InDesign and export to Flash and you can bring um, movies into Illustrator and Photoshop and it all becomes very, very blurry as to what's in the Creative Suite and what's in the web. Along with that blurriness, what we found is, is that many, many you know, people who were being asked to do Flash or Flex projects before are now also being asked to do integrations with the Creative Suite. So how do we bridge those two worlds? And the exciting thing that we're introducing here is something called Switchboard and Patch Panel. These are uh, technologies that are available up on labs.adobe.com. It's free. You can download them. Uh, you, you put them into a Flex project, and if you've done any Flex programming at all, this is it's a fairly simple thing to do. You link it into your project, and then suddenly now you can use all of your Flex programming skills and control and automate the Creative Suite. Uh, so, for example, if you had a situation where you wanted to oh, pull up a set of pictures from Flickr, uh, rotate those 90 or let's say 75 degrees and do an image correction because they were all um, photographed under fluorescent light, for example. Well, you can do that by hand. You download the image, you bring it into Photoshop, you do the correction, you do the rotation, and you save it back out again. Uh, or you could do it if you chose to in one of the scripting languages, assuming that you know Apple Script and Visual Basic. But if you know Flex or Air, you already know how to go up and get images from Flickr. Air allows you to download those to the local hard drive, and now using Switchboard, you can then pass those individual images onto Photoshop, ask it to do the manipulation, and then come back. So again, it's a way of leveraging all of that information that you have about programming Switchboard, I'm sorry, programming Air and Flex, and integrating the Creative Suite. And again, that's, that's done by a, a technology called Switchboard. It's available on labs.adobe.com. It's free, it includes complete documentation. Excellent summary. I certainly appreciate your perspective and your time today, Mark. Sure, that's glad. I'm glad to have you around. And uh, folks, if you get to Max, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Great. Today's Wow Technology Minute is brought to you by WebPro Community Challenge. Sponsored by the Wow and the Dorby Corporation, the WebPro Challenge offers an opportunity to showcase your talent, gain industry recognition, win prizes, and benefit the community by designing and developing a site for a nonprofit organization. For more information, check out webprochallenge.org.